potential and now we will discuss important activities. We have two important activities, one is glad flag activity, other one is prism activity. Actually, this is separate activity, this is separate activity. Why I am saying together means in 2000, this year, in 2020, they asked one question. In glass lab, it looks like this. Prism means it looks like this. They asked one question. In prism, this question will occur. This question will occur. Whereas in glass lab, it won't occur. Why they ask? This is the question. Why means it? In glass lab, opposite faces are parallel. Whereas in prism, opposite faces are at an angle or at an angle. The practice surfaces are at some angle. Here both are parallel, therefore no discussion occurs. Here both the surfaces are at some angle, that's for angle of this. Okay. Now, how do you do this activity in the lab? This activity. So see children, how do you do this activity in the lab? They the same activity, children. Both of the same activity, please listen carefully of it. How do you do activity? See here, children. Draw one normal, draw one incident trait. Here also. Normal means 90 degrees. Draw one incident trait. Incident ray should be between children. Incident ray between should be 30 to 60 degrees only. Incident ray should be 30 to 60 degrees only, not below or above 30 to 60. Not below 30 or above 60. Now, keep here two things. Keep here two things. Two things. See from this side. This you see from this side. Wherever you see the pink's reflection, put there two dots. Wherever you see the pink's reflection, put there two dots. Join the dots. Join the dots. Okay, so join the dots. Wherever you join the dot, draw normal. Wherever you put it, draw normal. Normal is only this. Now join this both ways. Here also join this both ways. Okay, so this is normal. Okay, if you are seeing from this side, it is appearing like this. That's why you got this figure. Suppose if this Lab was not there, glass lab. Light ray would have gone like this. Light ray would have gone like this. But in the same way, if this prism was not there, light ray would have gone like this. But uh, because of glass lab, light ray is deflecting by this much, displaced by this much distance. Okay, this is called as lateral displacement. What is it called? Lateral displacement. And because of the glass prism, the light is deflecting by this much angle, this much angle. Because of glass prism, light is deflecting by this much angle. This is called angle of deviation. Or is it called angle of deviation? Or is it called angle of deviation? And what is this called? Lateral displacement. What is lateral displacement definition? Lateral displacement is perpendicular distance between. Perpendicular distance between perpendicular distance between incident ray, incident ray extended forward, and this is emergent ray. Emergent ray. Okay. What is the lateral displacement the definition? Perpendicular distance between incident ray and emergent ray. Perpendicular distance between incident ray and emergent ray. Perpendicular distance between incident ray and emergent ray. What is angle of deviation? It is angle between incident ray, angle between incident ray and emergent ray, and incident ray extended forward, emergent ray extended back. Incident ray and emergent ray. Okay. On what factor lateral displacement depends? So many times in words and classes. On what factor lateral displacement depends? It depends upon. Angle of incident and thickness of yes. glass. Thickness of glass. glass. Thickness of glass. Yeah. And what factors angle of emission depends? Angle of incident and angle of prism. Angle of emission, angle of prism. Okay, children. And what is why for what for we are doing this experiment? You get that. What for we are doing this experiment, sir? To show that angle of incident is equal to angle of emergence. Angle of incidence will be equal to angle of emergence first. Number two, angle of refraction one will be equal to angle of refraction two. R1 will be equal to R2. Why? Because this and this will form interior R double angles. This both are parallel ones, which means this is parallel one, this is also parallel one. So this and this will form interior R double angles. So what for we are doing glass lab experiment to show that R1 is equal to R2 and to 
to show that angle I is equal to angle E. Okay, so and what are we are doing this time? Okay, to show that angle of influence and angle of emergence, see, they are not equal here. Angle of influence and angle of emergence are not equal to show that A is equal to angle of prism is equal to I plus E minus B minus cross plus. To show that angle of prism is equal to I plus E minus B and second one. A is equal to R1 plus R. To show that A is equal to R1 plus R. To show that A is equal to R1 plus R. Then when will be the equal? When will be I and B equal? Only during minimum deviation. Max minimum deviation. When light is undergoing minimum deviation, I and B will be equal. R1 and R2 will be equal. I and E will be equal, R1 and R2 will be equal only during minimum deviation. So A is equal to I and E are equal, I will write as 2A. I and E are equal, I will write as 2A. Okay, R and R, R1 and R2 are equal, I will write it as 2R. R1 and R2 are equal, I will write it as 2R. B you bring here, A plus B is equal to 2A. Okay, 2 you bring here, A by 2 is equal to R. 2 you bring down, I is equal to A plus B by Q. Now, what is the formula chain? What is the formula we have? What is the formula? Mu is equal to sin I by sin R. That is what. Mu is equal to sin I by sin R. What is I children here? What is I? A plus B. A plus D by, by 2. A plus D by, by 2. What is R children? A by 2. A by 2. A by 2. Oh. Okay, sure. So, what are we are doing in last hour activity to show that angle of emergence and angle of emergence are equal? Why they are equal? Because this way and this way are parallel rays. This way and this way are parallel rays, their angles will be equal. And to show that R1 and R2 are equal, so what are we are doing with the expression to show that A is equal to I plus E minus B? To show that A plus A is equal to I plus E minus B and A is equal to R1 plus R2. Okay, children, so this is with the activity. Some people will have confusion how. We are getting this diagram. Okay, so the diagram. So, children, see how we get this diagram. So, rarer to denser towards the normal, denser to rarer away from the normal. Rarer to denser towards the normal, denser to rarer away from the normal. See here. Rarer to denser towards the normal, denser to rarer away from the normal. That's very really and if the uh, prism was not the light at the constraint, we have done that right now, very good. And how we are getting this data? This data, one switch of children, how we are getting that in. Okay, children, how we are getting that in. So, this is normal, this is okay, children. Rarer to denser towards the normal, denser to rarer away from the constraint. Okay. Rarer to denser towards the normal, denser to rarer away from the normal. So it will go away from the normal. Angle of incidence and this is angle of emergence. This you extend front, this you extend by this is deviation. This is A. Diagrams and the gradients are very important. And this is R1, this is R2. Okay, check the diagram is very, very important. I, E, R1, R2, D, A. All the uh, angles are very important. They will ask you. They will give you different angles and different deviations, and they will ask you to leave in the diagram. If you know this diagram only, you can use it. It's not a contradiction. So, children, so this is the last year activity. And major precaution what we have to do is angle of emission should be between 30 to 60, angle of emission should be 30 to 60. Pin should be kept at 2 to 7 centimeters difference. Pin should be kept 2 to 7. Here also, pin should be kept at 2 to 7 centimeters. When you are seeing the pin in the basis, not the head, your heads will be tilted. See the basis children, not the head. The angle of incidence is the angle of energy. And R1 and R4 also equal. This is the purpose of doing classical activity and prism activity. Okay, thank you so much.